you are dealing with a big flexor, do not let this person fool you. They think about you every single day. For those of you who this message is for, there's a message that I recorded just before this and it has to deal with the wedding crasher. This is the video where I'm gonna get into the specifics about this particular person. For some of you, there's somebody that you are connected to. You could have a very significant relationship with this person, not now, but meaning there's something about the relationship that you have with this person that was significant, okay? This could have been somebody like, let's say you've been married before. This could have been a person that you first married. For some of you, this could have been the person that you lost your virginity to. I'm just not even going to sugarcoat that. For some of you, this could have been like your first boyfriend or your first girlfriend. For some of you, this could have been uh, the, uh, the first person that you ever lived with. Fill in the blank. This is somebody that you had a significant connection with to where you, it, it they made a, some type of first impact. Now, the thing about this is for those of you who this is for, you've moved on from the situation, but this person hasn't moved on from you and you don't realize how strongly this person thinks about you and pulls on your energy. This is a person that maybe you're like, well, I haven't talked and spoken to that person in a year, two years, three years. For some of you, literally, I'm hearing a decade. And you don't realize that it's not a day that goes by that this person doesn't think about you. Let's talk about who this person is. First and foremost, this is somebody who took you for granted. This is somebody who always thought that you were going to be there and it could be due to the nature of your relationship. For some of you, it could have been somebody that felt like family or you felt like family to that person it could have been mutual though this is somebody where you probably knew this person's family you could have been close with this person for some of you you and this person has physical similarities not saying that y'all look exactly the same but there's certain something about your physical features that is very similar okay and the thing about this is this person thinks about you so much that they actually seep into your energy they seep into your relationship okay if, if you have a relationship now or if there's a relationship that's coming into your life. Some of you have dreams about this person occasionally, not because you're still connected to them or not because you still desire them, but again, it's because they're thinking about you on a regular basis. We are all connected spiritually, even though there are certain ones of us who are more tapped into our spiritual connection, those who are more sensitive because we focus and spend a lot of time dedicated to our spiritual gifts and also just innately have certain more pronounced spiritual gifts, we know and we can pick up on certain things that other people are doing and we can see certain things that other people may not be able to see. But regardless, whether people are tapped into their gifts or not, we're all spiritually connected. So when you have somebody thinking about you all the time, that's a telepathic communication that's happening behind the scenes whether you're actively participating or not and this is important for you to understand because one of the things that you need to do is bump up your spiritual protection make sure that you're praying over yourself nightly daily make sure that you're praying for any type of um energies or entities or people that are pulling on your energy that is not divinely guided by holy spirit make sure you're praying for them to be bound and blocked and make sure that you're praying to have loose over you protection peace, love, harmony, divine, Holy Spirit filled blessings, people and relationships because there's somebody that it's, it's, it's like they're interfering. It's just straight up interference. Some of you, it's almost as if this person even tries to communicate telepathically with, let's say you are with a person. It's like they try to communicate with this person. Like some of you have someone who's trying to instill doubt in the mind of another person. With that being said, this is giving me more information about this person. This is somebody who can be highly spiritual whether you know it or not and some of you you do know this person is tapped in spiritually this person could be tapped in in different ways but this is somebody who's tapped in spiritually they're very spiritually sensitive like i'm saying this person is a reflection of you lot in a lot of ways but it's like this person is the dark version of you does that make sense? Oh my goodness, this is coming to me like, as I'm saying this message, there are certain parts that I have before, but as I'm saying this, um, Holy Spirit is showing it to me in a very specific way. Think about it, and this is just an analogy. This is not anything literal. It could be, but I'm giving this as an analogy. Think about if you have a twin. You ever see those movies where it's like, you know, you have a twin and you, you can have a twin that's just like you, like a good twin. But then you ever see those situations where even if you, you talk about just one person, like where you have the light side and then you have the shadow side, if that was the case, like, 
like you would be the light side and this person would be your shadow. So for some of you, this is somebody that you also once thought that you were destined to be with or connected to. And it's because you had a lot of similarities, but it's almost in the opposite way. Does that make sense? It's like, just to give an example, let's say y'all are both spiritually tapped in. You use your light for good. This person uses their light for selfish and more probably sinister and nefarious reasons. For some of you, you, you never even actually knew this person like you do, but you are basing this person's characteristics and attributes by comparing them to yourself, not, not realizing that this person is actually from a completely different form. For some of you, this person has kind of like noticeably darker circles around under their eyes, okay? Now, if you have darker circles, some people are born what they call with raccoon eyes. I'm not talking about having slightly darker color under your eye, okay? Everybody has that, especially without makeup for the most part. It may be a little bit darker for most people. But what I'm saying is for some of you, this is something that you noticed. And if this is something, somebody that you knew from a young age, this person always had like a type of darkness underneath their eye. There's something very heavy about this person and this is because this person has a different spiritual contract than you do. We talk about people being chosen for light, chosen for the most high, and then we talk about the people being chosen as agents of darkness and distraction, people that are chosen as agents. And this person that I'm picking up on is really giving agent energy right now. And it might be somebody that has always slid under your radar because you are seeing the reflection of your light in this person because of the similarities, not realizing it's similar but opposite actually there's somebody that you dream about from time to time one of the main take-home things I want you to understand especially for those who of you who are in a relationship and a connection that the most high is putting in your life you're not dreaming about this person because the most high is trying to tell you oh you need to be with this person or this person is the one or because you miss this person or anything like that you're having continual dreams about this person because this person literally thinks about you daily don't let them fool you they might never hit you up they might never text you they might never if you're on social media they might never say anything under your social media posts but this person watches you if you are doing anything publicly like on youtube tiktok instagram facebook whatever or have a website that's going this person keeps up with what you do this is another reason that this person kind of hides behind the scenes because in whatever way even if this is not something online and it's something in your community or it's just the position that you have like for some of you i'm like you could be a doctor or something like that or a lawyer where it's easy to find you because of um the level that you're at with what you do it's almost in a sense that this person is still taking you for granted because they feel like they can contact you for whatever reason and reach out to you even if you have a new number and they don't know where you live and all that type of stuff they watch you to the fact that it's like they feel like they can locate you if they want to don't be fooled there's somebody who I'm telling you they, they don't go a day just don't be confused about that understand that the most high has a person for you that is a reflection of you in the light aspect a person that is for you that is chosen by the divine to establish and help is reestablish is how I'm hearing it the kingdom of heaven on earth if you would like prophetic guidance regarding this particular message or if you would like prophetic guidance in regards to any other thing or just to chat with me and book a one-on-one -on -one, you can book on prettybosstv.com also if you would like to embark on a program that is life-changing that will get you out of a rut that will get you unstuck that will help you to build momentum where you go from glory to glory, faith to faith, then you can find our official course on prettybosstv.academy. This is a comprehensive course called 30 Days of Success that we did for 365 days straight on patreon.com slash prettybosstv during 2023. It completely changed my life. I cannot tell you all how stuck I was and how much my life has completely done a 180 in the past year just from being dedicated and sticking to that 30 days of success formula one of the unique things about this program is it's not just the generic program this is something that there's a blueprint there but you also participating it you also doing your part of the program is actually where by the end of it you'll have your not just blueprint for success but personalized blueprint for success you can get access to that on prettybossb.academy and depending on when you see this video you might be able to catch it for the pre sale price. Also, if you would like to join our community of like-minded and like-hearted chosen ones just like yourself, where you can get daily prophetic messages, where we really dive deep and do a lot of other fun stuff, join us on patreon.com slash prettybosstv. I love you all so very much. I thank you all for the birthday love, 
for all the love that you send me even just here on pretty boss tv youtube my patreon just everybody i love y'all i talk to y'all soon y'all willing stay blessed stay protected and keep your eyes open and your ears peace